is Lulu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited that you are here. If you're new, what's good? My name is Lulu. Thank you so much for picking this video to watch. If you like the content here, please like and subscribe. And for my retainers, what's good, my OGs? I love you guys. Thank you so much for making it all the way back to me. In this video, we're going to be talking all things civil engineering in Zambia. So somebody had requested this video like... I'm gonna guess it's early this year, if not last year. And I'm like, yeah, don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Was oh, that a rude fly? A mannerless fly, honestly. I'm like, I'm going to make it. And now I'm finally making that video. But before we get into all of that, shall we pray? Father Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so just a quick disclaimer. This video is going to be a bit like organized chaos, but like I'm just telling you in no particular defined order. But she's a girl of order, so you know, obviously, it's gonna make sense. Okay, but just stay with me. So I am a civil engineer. I studied from China, so four years undergraduate, and then supposed to be three years, but I did two and a half years postgraduate. I graduated in 2022 January, and I came straight home. And I'm like, I'm going to be a civil engineer, <laughs> which I am. But uh, yeah, before we get into that, what do you need to know? What do you need to have? How was my experience studying civil engineering? You're in school and you're trying to figure out what it is that you should keep and what it is you should study. So first of all, you need to have a general understanding of surveying. So surveying is basically plotting out where the house is going to sit on the land. The length, the width, the levels. You need to pay attention to your surveying class. Number two, your materials. Not as intensely, but like just to have a general understanding. Then mechanics both um, static and structural mechanics this helps you to understand how the building works how the building stands your design this one is very 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 important reinforced slabs or reinforced columns of reinforced beams if you have a project to learn software like structural design software structural analysis software pay attention to that bro here people pay people to do that so if you can make house plans and you can make structural plans together you are a powerhouse you'll be getting money okay you will actually be making some money now for you to actually get into engineering like in high school what do you need to focus on i would say math physics common sense we have common sense Yes, I don't know if pures is still a thing, especially in materials. Sometimes you'll be taken to go on site, you take samples of what's on site. You'll be required to like make mixes and batches of certain things to test their strength. So having like a prior, even though you don't necessarily have to do pures, but it it kind of helps because you are not going to be super anxious about touching things and mixing things and you know the teachers do teach additional things that you need to know as long as you are willing to learn willing to research when you don't really understand in class so going into the library those indian youtube videos actually are they plug like no lie when i didn't understand youtube indian man explains everything in like three minutes and you got it you know what i mean like it's not really a scary field like the way they make it out to be it's just ask questions high school into university to study engineering just anything that helps your brain learn but with an emphasis in math because like in china i want to say they are mathematical so if your brain can logically understand like you see a formula you can kind of make sense of it but then again a disclaimer i had so many friends who weren't doing the best to be honest, in math, in structure, in what, but they are engineering because engineering, as I said, is common sense. So now coming into the practicality of engineering in Zambia, um, my master's was on prefabricated or precast structure. Coming here, I don't know if there are any precast houses. I don't mean the prefabs, the one made of metal, I mean like precast houses. If you don't know what a precast house is, it is basically like Legos. So you mix your concrete into a mold of a house with rooms, pour the concrete in that mold, wait for the molds to harden to gain strength, you take it out, then you ship the house to where it's supposed to be. That's what I specialized in. In Zambia, we are not doing that. What are we doing? Roads. Bite me if you want. But we are doing roads. That's what we are doing. We are paving roads. We are patching potholes. We are, that is what we are doing. I came to Zambia. The first company that I did was supposed to be doing something precast like. Things didn't work out. I wish you the best even though you wasted my time. But God bless you exceedingly. 
so that you can pay me back my money but it is <laughs> a friend actually referred me to do an internship at a company that specializes in road i would say find a place that does roads slot in even though your speciality wasn't roads roads it's not something that's super complicated it's a lot of common sense it's easy for you to come and learn roads especially if you are in a place where they are open to teaching you you're open to learning the reality of engineering in zambia is that it's still an upcoming field if you want to pick engineering to study make sure it's something that you are passionate about not you're following my parents said no engineering is coming up obviously why developing country will need engineers so let me study engineering that's true but right now we are not engineering at the level that you expect we're still doing one story buildings they are just becoming modernized we are just now learning how to really go into reinforced concrete like for it to be a thing we're still using brick and mortar so it's not as extensive as a field so even getting into it and finding companies that will trust you especially when you're fresh out of university is a bit of a what not to speak negatively or anything anything is possible with god if you come in and you get a job let's say you're a structural engineer and you want to get a job you'll probably be hired by a smaller company if not a government or quasi government company so the smaller companies some work well some just use you for your qualifications to get bidding documents to <laughs> bid for projects which you will want to get hired on some are just they are bad they just steal money but some are actually good some actually get the job done the smaller construction companies are more open and more willing to hire new people but the pay and the working hours usually are not the best the government is open to hiring you but as an intern or as a trainee because you haven't yet gotten the knowledge the skill the experience required for you to be given like a position position so if anything happens it's the government everybody will be on their neck they need people who have a good head on their shoulders and who are able to take responsibility you know what i mean so they are not so willing to get you straight off the bat and put you in like a engineering permanent position then you can also be a contractor start your own company but you need like certain documentation though you can start at the end of the day guy you need to eat so i know it's seeming really bleak what is my recommendation i would say when you come especially if you're coming in from china coming in from anywhere first thing you do make sure you have a connection of some form networking because a lot of people get hired by networking somebody who knows somebody who can do the job that is how it's done like 90 five percent of the time so make sure you build connects make connect for me i didn't really know anybody i just knew people in my class so they graduated i remained so when i came back and i met some people wherever they had spaces in their places of work i was recommended there's networking of course there's the cv the normal job applications but for this one for people to actually call you back yeah it's a bit of of a waiting time something they want for example five years experience three years experience but you're fresh out of university so it's yeah it's a bit interesting when you are in university the internship period that they give you milk it because when you come here that's what you're going to use as your work experience find any form of construction project that you can find that you can get on even if it's just they are putting towels they are, like find somewhere where they are doing something and you put that in your cv if that's not working apply to be an intern everywhere apply to be an intern be free labor so that you can increase your work your work experience because that's what i'm doing i knew that coming into the zambian space on top of having the qualifications i need the experience to back the qualifications so i openly applied for an internship and, and i'm sitting in a place where i am learning and soaking up as much as i can so that when the time comes for us to sit in those offices you get me it makes sense some places they pay some places they don't but your focus is to gain as much knowledge as you can i know it's disheartening because you've come from paying school fees and life requires you to use money for you to live airtime transport food all of these things talk to your family about it and see what they can say also 
see if you can make plans like you can make house plans you can make structural design plans anything you can do so you are job hunting actively looking for an engineering job but then you are interning as well so that you can gain experience so that people are actually interested in hiring you because you know what you're talking about find yourself on a site but network and most importantly pray god is your biggest connect i promise you god is your biggest connect pray for me i didn't know anybody like i don't know anybody in a in construction everybody higher than me or my parents my aunties are not in a construction field at all it's literally the favor of god that made me meet my friend and my friend's like oh actually there's a space you can come and intern now you're building trust because you're around engineers they're getting to know you you know them so they can refer you to other things other projects or something you know what i mean god is your biggest connect like god is your biggest connect so um i don't know if there's anything else i can add i hope the video hasn't been bleak like i'm not here to come and just say zambia is trash no this is what's happening on ground i'm telling you so that you can be informed so you can know what to expect so that you can maximize would i recommend engineering if you have the passion for it i feel like it's not something that with a little bit of time and learning it's not something that you can't do you went through writing a thesis and especially if you studied in a foreign country a foreign language if you can go through that you can be an engineer it's n like trust it's not that complicated you just need time you need space to learn but it is very much doable if you want to like camp on site let's say they've posted you somewhere and you want to like that's where you've been posted to work uh i don't know how the private institutions did it because some private institutions actually um hire some hire like a lodge or something for you to stay government places will just give you a tent and tell you <laughs> that's where you're gonna be in the tent or they'll hire out like a car like a space but it's a communal room or something like that so that's also something that you need to put in your brains okay as you are picking engineering as a subject especially for girls it's like not not that you can't do it of course you can do it but then there's safety issues so as you are going wherever they post you just make sure it's a place you're comfortable going but then also remember that you're there to learn as well and it might not be the most comfortable so just like talk to your people make sure you ask the hard questions before they post you somewhere because you'll be the one who'll be in that space right so if you can just make sure especially for a female engineer a female person make sure you ask the right questions ask where am i going to be where is it safe if anything happens is there transportation to bring me back how much money am i going with ask the hard questions because like as an intern you might feel like mm, you know i need to learn that's true but you need to be safe as well should anything happen to you it is your life it is it's you that's going to be in an awkward situation or maybe like god forbid anything happens you know it's you that it's the consequences are gonna be on you especially if you are not a permanent employee so make sure you ask the hard questions if you are not comfortable it's okay to say no it's okay to say no but make sure that you are safe yeah i think this is it i hope this has answered that question thank you guys so much for watching if you like content like this please let me know because i'm not just like you know an airhead i'm not just a beauty she's got brains okay she's got the mind of christ honey okay so if you want more videos like this do let me know so that i can further break it down if you have specific interests let me know please like if you liked this video it helps my video get more rich your girl is like we are growing people i'm back on this youtube thing so we need the videos to go to the places so please like the video keep doing whatever it is that you do that you love that brings glory to god and if it doesn't come back because he loves you okay may your edges prosper baby i love you bye I'm running out of space, so I need to end this video. <laughs> I really hope this video makes sense. I always say this at the end of this video and then I cut it so nobody actually sees. But I hope this video has made sense. Because people pay an average of 3500 to 6000 for a house plan, depending on how complicated it is. 
additional things that the, the flies here are so rude bro oh my god but